All right, so we're dealing with a regular decagon, so n equals 10, whose perimeter is 20. So this is telling us that what's the length of each side? 20 divided by 10, which gives us each side is going to be 2. So here's our information. We use our area formula 1 half SAN. You could also use 1 half AP. Um, either way is fine. Our S value was 2. Our apothem is unknown. Our N value is 10. So all we need to do is figure out that measure. So we're going to do the same kind of thing. Take our reference triangle, which is an isosceles triangle. Figure out this angle. It's 360 divided by 10, which gives us 36. And then when we draw in our apothem, it cuts that in half. So that's going to be 18. If our whole opposite side was 2 to begin with, when we cut, draw in our right triangle, we cut that base in half. And so now we're looking at this triangle. We have a, an angle, a known opposite side, an unknown adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent are related by the tangent. So we know that the tan of 18 is equal to opposite 1 over adjacent A. And then just solve for our A value. Multiply both sides by A to get it out of the denominator. Then divide both sides by tan of 18. And so here is our A value, 1 over the tangent of 18. And so when you calculate that, you should get your total area.